Hey guys, this is Mrs. G from Mrs. G's Classroom. Today I want to show you an activity on cells. So if you look right here, this you could use at a lab station. And you can uh, show students how to build a prokaryote cell. So if you look right here, what you're going to need to do is find the largest piece, which would be this piece right here. Okay, and if we flip it over on the back, you can write the definition and also the structure's name. So for example, I wrote capsule. And you'll see on some of the other ones I wrote definition. So you put the capsule down and you're going to look for the next biggest piece. And that would be this item right here. And if we flip it over again, like I said, I have the structure name and I also put the definition. This is a cell wall. So cell wall would go be the next layer. And then after that, you'd find the, cy the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, which is this gel-like um, gel material that organelles float around in. We'll put that in there as well. And then we're going to grab ribosomes. And you can see the ribosomes are floating in that cytoplasm. And this, um, these guys are used to help make proteins. And what we're building right here is we're building a bacteria cell. Great. So it's visual. It's great for your, e your EL, um, any students with special needs. Then we'll find the genetic material. We'll put that in the middle. We'll put plasmid. And we'll, later on we'll talk more about plasmid when you get to genetic engineering. We'll throw that in there as well the flagellum, which is that tail that kind of, it helps for movement and such. And then they have these other little items right here that we can put out here. And you can see right there, there's their prokaryote cell. Very neat. Students can sit here and they can practice. They can ask questions. They can say, hey, what is this called? What's this called? Um, and then you can come up and you can check to see if students understand. So now we're going to move over to these two items. Now, the, what, what I have right here is I have a plant cell. And I also have an animal cell. Now it's okay if the pieces get kind of mixed up or if you want to keep them separate. Um, they're all the same size and I like this because you can compare and contrast. If you want to put all the pieces together and ask the students to build, you could. Or if you want to keep them separate, it's really up to you. So the same thing, students will look for the biggest piece when we're building a um, plant cell. And then what they're going to need to look to next is the next biggest piece. So we have right here the cell wall Okay, that we can find. Um, in a plant cell. Then we have the cell membrane and the cytoplasm. And then once again, students can now put in the organelles that we can find in there. Now what makes these um, cells different from these cells is they have a nucleus. So your st students are seeing it visually, they get to play with the pieces, they can flip them over and quiz each other um, what these items are, and then they would go ahead and build the cell. And you can quiz each other, ask each other questions. This is a really fun, neat activity. Building a plant cell. You can talk about the vacuole and so forth. So it's very, very neat, very interactive. I like this. And uh, students can play with that. So same thing for the animal cell. They have a cell membrane. They have the cytoplasm. And then I would throw in all these other pieces and talk about what this one has versus this one doesn't have. Another thing you can do is you could also sit here and just talk about the layers as well and saying hey well this one right here doesn't have this green one what is that again so you're talking you're comparing you're contrasting a really great activity um, another thing I would really suggest is you could take this and this one and instead of doing a lab station you can have students put it in an interactive notebook really up to you so I could take these same, same structures students could put it in color it whatever color you decide to color. I like to try and make them the same color every time. So every time the cell wall, they always see it as always green. Every time they see the cell membrane, you know, if you choose it to be yellow, make it yellow all the same time. Just stay consistent whatever you do. And then right here, you could glue that in and you have all the structures right here. And students could pull these pieces out and students could put it in. And then when they're done, put the pieces back in here. And when students come in, you could ask them, hey, all right, real quick, get it out. I want you to show me the three things that um, the plant cell has that the animal cell doesn't. So great activity, really interactive. And uh, you also get flashcards to go with it. So when I'm sitting here, even at lab, I could ask the student, and I say, all right, uh, let's see. Out of, if I'm looking at plant cells, I could say, all right, and we get all these pieces in. Hey, which one stores water, salt? proteins and carbohydrates, what organelle. And students would, could point to which one of the piece they think it is, and they could say, hey, I think it's this piece. And you could um, flip this over right here, and you say, hey, you're right, it is that. So it's great for visual learners, really neat, interactive, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, have a great day.